hey guys welcome back to my channel so guys today we are going to discuss something you're going to love so much especially ladies you're going to learn a lot from this video and please you help me do one thing that is sharing this video because a lot of ladies will enjoy watching this video it's going to help them a lot a whole lot so please after watching do not keep it for yourself also share with your friends your contacts even guys can learn from it as well so that is it so today we are going to look at things you can get without asking if he truly loves you yes there are things you must get or you can get from him without asking him with your mouth if he truly loves you yeah that's the truth there are lots of things that men do that contradicts what they say that's why i always tell some ladies that do not be moved by what men say always watch what they do that is what will move you and not what they say because a lot of men have sweet mouths that they can use their mouth like this eh, and confuse your life confuse your generation <laughs> so you must look beyond their words always be interested on their action because action speaks louder than voice so do not be deceived by what they say with their mouth be more interested in their action that is what shows whether they truly love you or not so he can say i love you 100 times and yet he's doing everything entirely different from what he's saying so it simply means that the i love you is not genuine it's not coming from his heart he's just trying to deceive you so when you understand these things you know the when the man is serious and when he's not serious you know the right thing to do immediately so we are going to look at some of those things that shows he truly loves you some of those actions that truly shows he loves you a lot so number one of such points is once he truly loves you he will always support you in what you do it could be your dreams your visions he will always try to support you in whichever way he can please hear me i'm not talking about financial help yes it's also included but not mainly financial help most times it's not even financial help that you will need at that very moment so you need that support that advice that counseling that um encouragement that advice all those things you need them so he could be there to give you all those things and that is the support you need at that very moment so you need his support so much not just telling you i love you and yet whenever you're handling anything he does not even look towards that direction he does not care and you think that this person actually loves you no it says a different thing from the love he has been telling you so this is one of the things that shows he truly loves you when he gives you your his full support in whatever you do as far as that thing is the right thing he gives you the full support you need you know that is very very important sometimes you may be facing a kind of life challenges you also need his support in this area so he should be there for you to encourage you and tell you that you both are in this together you are not alone it will go a very long way for you so when he gives you this support it shows that somebody is with you you are not alone you are not facing this difficulty alone so his support will go a very long way for you so remember i said that it's not just physical or uh, finance uh support that we are talking about sometimes he also may need financial support as well so he should be there for you as well, especially if he has it. If he does not have it, it will be a different thing. But if he is in a position to help you, to render help to you financially, he should be able to support you as well. But why I'm bringing up this is that a lot of people think once you mention support, it only means money. No, money is not all the support that you need from somebody. There are lots of other things that you need that is also support. So the person, it could be the person's advice, it could be the person's encouragement and all that. It will go a very long way for you as well. So that is it. So if it shows you that support without you asking for it, it simply means that this person truly loves you and he wants every good thing to come your way. He's there for you. He's encouraging you. Even when you feel like giving up, he tells you that he's with you, that you can do this. You can actually achieve this. I know what you have inside of you. You can achieve it. You can get there. You give, in fact, you boost your morale in going after whatever you want, in pursuing that dream, in pursuing that vision. Boost your morale for you to keep on pushing. 
that those things are possible for you to achieve. So you need this kind of man, not just the world, I love you, but he must be able to render support in any way he can just to help you get to your destination in life. So the next point we are going to consider is his thoughtful gesture. Yes, his thoughtful gesture, he will always want to, you know, do something that will make you happy. You know, these are some of the things that can show that he truly loves you. Even without him saying it, his action will speak so loud, telling you that he truly loves you. So if he's the type that he's ready to, you know, do what will give you that excitement, what will give you that happiness, just keep you happy. You know, sometimes he may just buy you your favorite snack, uh, buy you one thing or the other, buy you a gift. That is very, very beautiful. These are some of the things that shows he truly loves you. Sometimes, like if you're married, I would advise you to do this, be it a man, a woman, but I know that for a man to do this, it really shows that he loves the wife a lot. Something like writing some romantic notes, dropping them in some corners of the room, then you know that definitely your wife will go here. You, she will go to this place, go to this place once she comes in. So you can just drop those notes in some of those uh, strategic uh, corners. That you know that definitely she will go there once she comes back, just to spice up your relationship. So just like I said, that most times it's not really money that we are talking about. There are a lot of things that shows he truly loves you. Not when he gives you bundles of money that you think or you know. That he truly loves you. No, there are lots of little little things that shows he truly loves you. There's something my husband used to do when we got married newly. Because that time I was still serving, I was still serving in Kogi State. So most times when I'm coming back, you find out that my husband will just write some of these romantic um, notes. He'll drop it in some strategic areas in the house. He drop some of these notes. You know that definitely once I come in, the next thing I will do is to have my bath. So what he would do, he would write the first um, note and keep it in my soap dish. Whenever I open that soap dish to bath, I will see the first note. Sometimes he'll keep one, maybe where I keep my things, maybe my clothes, my nightwear. So all those places he knows that definitely you go there. He will keep those notes there. And ah, it was so romantic. <laughs> So these are some of the things that can just spice up your relationship. If you see some of these things, then know that he truly loves you. Not just all about saying it with his mouth. No, his actions should speak better. So if he does some of these things, remember what I said, it's for marriage or not for relationship or courtship. This particular one is for married people. So if he does some of these things, it shows that truly he loves you. And you don't need too much talk for him to... Or for you to be convinced that he truly loves you. So the next point we are going to consider is his desire to always spend time with you. Yes, if he enjoys spending time with you, it shows that he truly loves you. That he can, no matter how busy he is, the little time he has, he can, you know, make it so, so exciting, make it so interesting, make it so loving. Yeah. So he may not have the whole time in the world, but the little time he has, he will spend it with you so lovingly. So that shows that he truly loves you. So these are some of the things you can look out for to know that he loves you and not just the I love you with words. So if he enjoys the company, enjoys spending time with you, it's really, really, really a good sign that shows he truly loves you. So take him serious, take him serious as well and know that yes, is for you. So if he enjoys your company, enjoys chatting with you, gisting with you, spending time with you, then it's really a good one. So the next point we're going to look at is his respect for your boundaries. Yes, if he respects your boundaries, then it truly means that he's the man for you, he truly loves you. So if he respects your boundary, he respects your opinion, your feelings, he does not force you into doing what you don't want to do. You know, there are relationships that are like that, that even when a lady does not want a particular thing, the man wants to force her into doing that. It doesn't watch it at all. If you see some of these things, then it simply means that he does not love you. Because someone that truly loves you wouldn't want you to get hurt because he knows that 
since you don't like this thing, if you do it, it may get hot, it may not be fine after everything. So if you understand, you, you respect your feelings, respect your opinions, and try to avoid whatever that will bring cracks into your relationship. So that's how it is. If it's someone that respects your boundary, if you tell him, no, I do not want this, I do not like this, you respect those things, then he's the right man for you. But if he's the man that wants to force you into doing what he wants, or manipulate you into doing what he wants without considering you, considering the effects of that thing on you at that very moment. Then he's a selfish person and you don't need such a person at all. So he should be able to know your boundaries, know the things you cannot do, you don't want to do, and he should be able to respect those things as well. So if he has that uh, respect your boundaries, then he's the right man for you. But if he doesn't respect your boundary, He's always thinking about himself. He's always thinking about what he wants. He's ready to manipulate you. Avoid such a man. No matter how many I love you, he tells you. He's lying. He doesn't love you truly. So the next point we're going to look at is his willingness to communicate with you. If he's the one that communicates with you very well in the right manner, then he truly loves you. You know, a lot of people who have a partner and yet they do not have a good communication. If that is the issue, then it's a red flag because definitely no relationship, marriage or whatsoever can thrive if there is no serious communication between you two. So communication must be there for you both to enjoy that relationship very well. So if he's the type that communicates with you freely, comfortably, then he's the right person for you. He truly, truly, truly loves you we all know that one of the things that stresses any relationship is communication is very 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 important even if there is issue or any issue between you both you should be able to sit down discuss it and look for a solution and then you come out of the situation and still come back together and all that so learn how to discuss about matters that concerns the both of you be it misunderstanding whatsoever and also chat the normal chatting discourse laugh do you know that the best person or the best gossip partner you can have is your partner yeah your man or your woman your husband or your wife that is the best gossip partner you can ever have truly and you know most times one is, what's it has to do with gossip between husband and wife? Uh, nobody will hear a move because both of you would like to protect each other. That's the beautiful aspect of it. So both of you will need to protect each other, not like maybe friends are gossiping. And tomorrow, once there is a little clash, both of you will start exposing yourself. <laughs> Please, I'm not saying that you should gossip, but I'm just trying to bring up this just to spice up the point. So the best gossip partner you can have is your partner your husband or your wife because you feel more safer discussing some certain issue with him or her or than any other person out there so try to create a beautiful communication and uh, between you both it really go a long way in your relationship so the next point we're going to look at is his unwavering loyalty yes once he is loyal to you he truly, 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 truly loves you. Once he's loyal and committed to your relationship, it's very, very important. So you know that, yes, this person truly loves me. You can't tell me that your man is loyal and yet he's cheating on you and you say he's loyal. Ah, It doesn't make sense at all. So if he's loyal to you, he wouldn't want to cheat you. He wouldn't want to hurt you because, you know, definitely if you find out that he's cheating on you, you will feel hurt. So... If he truly loves you, he wouldn't want you to feel hurt. He wouldn't want you to be sad. So he would try to protect everything that will make you or keep you happy. He wouldn't want to cheat on you. So you can't tell me that he's loyal to you and yet he's cheating on you. You are telling me that he's, he loves you. I don't know what or how some ladies out there define this word love. I don't know how they define it. They say, ah, he loves Simbo. He lo sorry, he loves Sao, but you know man now, you know men. Man is a man's word, so he can cheat on her, but if she's still the right person or the best person for him, you are just deceiving yourself. That's the truth. You are just deceiving yourself. So if he truly loves you, what's the need of him cheating on you? 
No. If he cheats on you, it simply means that he's not loyal to you and he does not love you the way he portrays or the way he says it. He does not truly love you the way he ought to. So if he cheats on you, he's not loyal to you. He does not love you the way you think he does. So please, you will use your tongue and count your teeth and know whether you can continue such relationship or marriage or not. If you wouldn't want him to be cheating on you in marriage, it's better you quit right from the beginning but if you yeah, if you're ready to go into such a relationship or such a marriage with such a man, just prepare your heart that you see anything, even infections can come from there and you bear it within yourself if you know that you can tolerate such a man after marriage. So the ball is in your court. But if you can see some of these things during courtship, I believe that if you're someone that is wise, you should be able to quit from such relationship even before it gets to marriage. So that's it. So please, if he's not loyal to you, he does not show that he respects you. He does not show that he truly loves you. Once he cheats you, he's not loyal and he does not love you as much as you think he does. So the next point we are going to look at is his efforts for you both to go together. His efforts, when he's putting efforts for both of you to go together, it simply means, especially... When you are still caught in, and this person is showing so much effort for both of you to go together, even in marriage, you just find you just want both of you to go together. It simply means that he truly, truly loves you. He wants the best for the both of you. And for instance, if you are still in a relationship or courtship with such a man, it shows that he's he has taken you so serious that you will are moving to the next um chapter of your lives. Because it simply means that he really has you in mind. He's really, he really wants the best for you. If he's planning for the both of you, if he's putting so much energy, so much effort to make sure that both of you grow, it may be, you know, doing a different thing from him, maybe a kind of business or job, whatever. It may be quite different. But he's still putting so much effort to make sure that both of you grow in those areas. For instance, he's doing business, and the, the lady is working, you will make sure that you continue growing in that aspect, in that job, you continue growing, and him also will continue growing in his own area. And there's another thing I would advise every couple to do. This is for people that are already married. Please try to teach your partner whatever you do. For instance, if the man is doing business, try to teach your wife at least the basic concerning that particular business or job you are doing. Even your wife also needs to teach you some certain things concerning the job she's doing. Let both of you have an idea of what each of you do to help a whole lot. So let your partner know at least the basic of whatever you do. It will go a very long way. You don't know what, you, will not, you may not understand what I'm trying to say because if anything happens to any of you, at that very moment, the other person can take over and sort out things immediately before any other thing, uh, any other step can be taken. I'm not praying for anybody to die. I'm not praying for, praying for the man to die or the woman to die. Or am I saying that the man must be the one to die first or the woman must be the one to die first? We don't have such power to predict it. But please let your partner know the basic of whatever you're doing. If it is business, let her know the basic so that she will know what to do if anything happens to you as sis or her partner. Why I'm saying so is that I've, you know, I've talked about this particular uh, story. In my first video, I've talked about it, about a man who was, he used to have a fish pond and he has a lot of fish, I mean, plenty of fish ponds and he was actually doing well and all of a sudden the man died. And the wife doesn't know anything about that business. So they didn't know what to do again than to bring in the husband's younger brother who took over that business. And the agreement was for him to be giving this woman a certain amount of money at the end of the month. They found out that the man wasn't doing anything for this woman. This woman was suffering with her children. The man stopped giving them the money that they discussed. He would be giving them monthly. He will always give excuses. There is no sales, and yet people are coming every morning to pack fishes from their compound, and that is how it is. So that is how bad it can get to. But thank God everything was sorted out. But by that time, the man had already 
squandered most of the man's properties, uh, the, the business, he had already run the business down, you know, gotten a lot of things, set off um, shop for his wife, started building from that fish pond. And yet the wife of the man that owns it and the children, we are suffering. So please try to teach your spouse at least the basic of whatever you do, be it business, job, or whatever. It will definitely help you both a lot. So guys, we are ending it here for now. Please do remember to subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Please share it with your friends. They will really learn a lot from this video. So thanks guys for your time and bye for now.